Well, more on Florida's utility companies will soon start disconnecting customers again. That's despite the ongoing COVID economic downturn with hundreds of thousands of people at risk now of losing their power. A coalition of nonprofits and lawmakers now hoping to get the state to put things on hold. Capital reporter for Saunders today has the very latest on this one from Tallahassee. Still struggling to make ends meet in Florida's weakened economy, Lee Van Pelt worries her power could get pulled if she doesn't keep up with utility bills keeps me up at night. You know, you, you wonder what when the other shoe's going to drop. She's not alone. A couple of weeks ago, utility companies told the Public Service Commission about 600,000 Floridians are behind at risk of a disconnect. I need to have electricity so I can get up and take a shower and get ready for work and go to work so I don't lose everything. Shutoffs have resumed for a number of major providers, others like Duke, starting in just days. But 13 nonprofits and several lawmakers are again trying to get the state to get involved. Relying on uh, goodwill from regulated public utilities is just not the way to go. Senator Jose Javier Rodriguez is working with the group. Together, they want to disconnect moratorium through January 2021, a reconnect of anyone cut off since March, and for utilities to waive fines and extend debt forgiveness. The crisis is very much still with us, and I think utility shutoffs, are th I think, are not something that families need to be thinking about. The group has pushed for the state to act in the past, but DeSantis and the Service Commission have preferred to allow utilities to act on their own. DeSantis's team declining to comment on the renewed effort. This is of no fault of our own. Lee remains hopeful the state will act, perhaps helping her sleep a little more peacefully at night, knowing she'll be able to turn on the lights in the morning. The Public Service Commission has been holding workshops to discuss COVID-19 and what to do about late payments. Their next one is scheduled for September 1. That's the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.